I got word from Autel that there is a new firmware available for the Autel Nano Plus. And that is going to, among other things, to add some really exciting stuff to your drone, something that we have been waiting for for a long time. And that is HDR video support, as well as a lock profile format that will allow you to squeeze even more dynamic range out of your footage that will allow you to do some amazing stuff in post. I just put this video together so you can see the difference between the three recording modes, the standard mode, the HD mode, and the lock format. And I will make the footage available for you to download through the Tech Drone Media website so you can pull in the footage for yourself and check it out in your own editing software. So the weather was pretty awful and it was actually snowing this time of year. Can you believe it? But then uh, the snow suddenly stops and uh, the sun was kind of hiding behind the clouds uh, in the sky and uh, the light was starting to, to dim a little bit. So that was a really perfect scenario to demonstrate the dynamic uh, range capabilities of the drone because we have a lot of uh, bright tones in the image as well as uh, some really dark areas. And this is where we want the log footage because that can allow us to recover some of that detail in the footage in post-production. So I upgraded the Auto Sky app to 112 and the firmware in the drone to 1214. So to test this out, I've decided to launch the drone above my house and then film towards Esrom Lake. So you have some really nice scenery to, uh, to compare with. So I started out by doing a recording in the standard 4K 30 FPS. And this is what it looks like. Then I changed the drone into HD by simply flipping the switch. And as you can see right now, the drone is really capable of bringing out some details without me touching anything. Flicking it into the lock format will automatically disable the lock mode and vice versa. And as you can see right now, the footage becomes really, really dull and flat to look at. And you would need some post-processing to resurrect this footage and bring it to its full potential. So what do you think about the difference? Here I will put all three clips on the same page for you to compare. Let me know in the comments below. And as mentioned through a link in the description below, you will be able to download the footage from the Tech Drone Media website. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.